Hey everyone, Rob here from Honest Reviews. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the limit for how large of a lithium ion battery you can take on an airplane. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna mention is to check the description beneath this video because I'm gonna kind of have a summary of all of this information. It'll be uh, a lot easier to kind of go through. The limit for how large of a lithium ion battery you can take on an airplane is 100 watt hours. That works out to about 27,000 um, milliamp hours if you have a, you know, an external battery pack like this. This one is 26,800 and that works out to 96 watt hours. And if you're not sure like how large your battery bank is, usually on the bottom in really small print, you'll be able to see and it will say, um, it'll say capacity. This one says 26,800 milliamp hours at 3.6 volts and then in brackets, 96 watt hours. So that's where you can um, find out. Now there are a few things that you should know beyond just the 100 watt hour limit. First of all, um, a 100 watt hour battery, again, this is this is pretty big. Um, there's ch chances are you, you maybe aren't even carrying around something this big. Um, you might be carrying around something like smaller like this. And if you're carrying around something smaller like this, you don't have to worry uh, about anything. Um, you can take basically as many, you know, under 100 watt hour or 100 watt hour batteries as you want. There's no like, there's no limit. It just has to be for personal use. You can't be um, bringing these along with you on an airplane because you're going to be selling them later or distributing them or something like that. So that's kind of one rule. Um, if you have a battery that's between 100 and 160 watt hours, you can bring it on the plane, but uh, you need to get airline approval first and usually it's limited to just two of those batteries So those would be more like um, I don't know if you have like professional AV equipment that uses really large batteries That that might be when you're bringing those type of batteries on another important thing with lithium-ion batteries is that they have to be in your carry-on They can't be um, in your checked luggage if for some reason you need to uh, check your hand luggage um, like at the gate, then you're supposed to take out all the lithium ion batteries and carry them on you um, into the cabin carry on. Another thing to note is that if you're carrying like camera batteries like this, um, which is also lithium ion, uh, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to cover up the battery terminals um, so that there's like no risk of short circuiting and, and creating sparks and stuff like that. Or what you can do is um, if you have like a, a photography backpack or like this, this is like a little tech pouch from Peak Design. You can store them like inside a like sleeve in a backpack. That's also okay. What they just really want to make sure is that those battery connectors are protected and there's no chance that the battery is going to short circuit. A specific category that I saw when I was researching this on the FAA website is that um, they have a separate category for electric scooters and electric skateboards and stuff because people really like to travel with those um, carry on. And the rule for that kind of was like, if it's less than a hundred watt hours, the size of the battery, you should be okay. Um, if it's larger than 100 watt hours, uh, you need to check with the airline and it can't be greater than 160 watt hours. And you have to, I think typically remove it from the, the device uh, so that there's kind of no chance that it's going to, I don't know, be activated. Another thing to note is personal electronic devices that um, already have batteries in them. So things like laptops, you can't remove the battery. Um, and it, it seemed a little bit murky here in terms of uh, the size of battery. Like it, maybe it could have been larger than 100 watt hours, um, but I think, I think that that's still, you should just limit it to 100 watt hours. And really, um, I think the largest laptop battery right now is maybe in the new um, MacBook Pro, 16 inch MacBook Pro, and that has a 100 watt hour battery. So, um, you know, I, just based on that, I'm guessing that Apple has kind of done the research and they're not putting batteries that are larger than they should be into laptops. Now, one final thing to note is that uh, the research that I did for this is coming from the FAA website, and I'll link that below. Individual airlines may have slightly different rules. I had kind of briefly checked British Airways, and um, it seemed like they actually did allow um, 
batteries to be in checked luggage if it was in a device. So you could, for example, like check a laptop and you couldn't have any like loose spares or something like that. So you're gonna wanna check with your individual airline as well to see what their battery restrictions are. But I think that the FAA guidelines are probably a pretty broad, safe interpretation of what's allowed on an airplane. And just a reminder that all of these rules have to do with whether or not you can just bring it onto the plane. Um, but once you have them on the plane, it seems like you're pretty good to just, if you need to charge something, that's okay. You can use your devices with your batteries. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. If you have any additional information on traveling with lithium ion batteries, make sure to leave it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video and hope you have a great day. Bye.